I'm here today with Riley, who will tell us more about statistics and what you can do if you pursue statistics as a major. Hi there, I'm Riley, and I'm a lecturer in the Statistics and Actuarial Institute Department and an academic advisor for statistics and for data science. Sounds great. And um, let's get started with our questions then. So can you tell us a little bit more about what statistics is about? Statistics is the field that concerns itself entirely about data. So the collection, organization, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of data. Everything that statistics has to do with is data. Perfect. And um, what do you wish students knew before picking statistics as a major? A few things. Um, the first thing I think that they should do is declare early. So a lot of students tend to wait till the end to declare into statistics. The earlier you uh, declare statistics, the earlier you'll be able to see our learn pages, um, which communicate things that are coming up, that are changing, that are important to them, uh, as well as log into the methyl course. The other thing I think that they should know is that basically there's an infinite number of seats for the program. So at the end of the day, provided you meet the minimum requirements, which are a 65 MAV, 60% uh, CAV, and less than four fails and 10 pass courses, you're in. Anybody who meets those requirements is in. All right, thank you. Um, sounds great. So my next question would be, um, what what is the most exciting thing about this field like what what do you feel is is the most exciting thing about statistics uh the most exciting thing for me is its flexibility its adaptability your ability to take this field and use it almost anywhere you can think to use it it's it's fantastic that way uh that goes for the major well so at the university of waterloo you're required to do 26 math courses to get a statistics major, and seven of those are undefined. So that allows you to pick courses um, that interest you in other fields, such as actuarial science, pure math, and it makes it easy to get another major or another minor uh, in another field. All right, thank you. That sounds great. What types of careers can be pursued with this major? It's kind of unlimited. There's lots of different possibilities for somebody in a stats background. I can give you an idea of where some of our majors have been at the end of their career. So by the end of their career, some of our majors have been manufacturing energy engineering managers, uh, senior scientists, business analysts, investment leaders, as well, of course, as presidents and VPs. So the sky's the limit. Perfect. And my last question would be, um, how is it different from data science? Or, or what would you say are main differences between statistics and data science? All right, so data science is basically a combination of computer science and statistics. You take the two of those, you merge them together, and you end up with data science. And so as a result, data scientists have a lot of statistical background, additionally to having a whole bunch of computer science background. Um, basically, data science handles larger data sets where more computational power is needed. All right, thank you so much for making that all so clear and explaining what statistics is all about. Um, yeah, that was great. Thank you very much, Barbara. Can't wait to see you in statistics.